Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is another how-to video, but the last how-to video was a wig, a wig related video, and that was the hairline plucking tutorial, which you all seem to love, and you also love the idea of like this how-to kind of series on my page. So I'm, I'm also kind of, as I do the how-to videos, they're gonna be in a set playlist. So you know if one day you just think, you know what, I really wanna educate myself today, then the how-to videos will all be in one set playlist, which you can find here on my page. Um, but yeah, so, the, I always get asked about two things, how to get my lips so clean, and how to do my eyebrows. So, lips and eyebrows are a very personal thing to each and every one of us, we all do them the way we want. Like if we flash back to Glow Up, I had very dark eyebrows and everybody always is like, why are your eyebrows so dark? And I'm like, it's just how I like them. I like having light hair and a dark eyebrow. It's just how I like it. So, say no more. But I thought I can show you my techniques of how I achieve my lips and my brows and then you can put them into your routine and see if it helps you achieve the desired look that you're going for. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna be doing lips and how I do my signature lip shape, but it'll also just kinda show you how to do them. So I'm gonna stop waffling and let's just jump straight into the video. So the first step, which I always do before I even do any makeup is a mask for my lips. This is just the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze and it's just a super hydrating, nourishing lip balm and it just really softens my lips and helps get them get them ready and gets them looking really nice when I do apply lips, like lipsticks because a liquid lipstick can be very dry and if you have a dry lip and then you put on a liquid lipstick that's dry, they're gonna look crusty and you don't want that. So first step, moisturize the lips. And this one has a cute little metal applicator. So you just squeeze up the product like so and then you just massage into the lip. Now the next step is you would now just go in and do your foundation routine as normal, but you would leave it wet. So I do, like you always see on my videos, I do all my foundation, my highlight, my contouring, my eye makeup, and then before I set with powder, I do my lip liner into my wet foundation. So I'm gonna quickly just buff some foundation in. I'm just gonna use the Kat Von D one. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So I'm just gonna buff this in and around my lips so I've got my base to work on. And you'll find out in a second why I like to draw my lip liner on into wet foundation. Now, I have quite pigmented lips, so I just like to lightly dust the foundation of my lips just to kind of neutralize them, which you can see now my lips look so much better. So now that your foundation's done, but it's still wet, you haven't set it, now it's time to pick a lip liner of your choice. Now, I just keep all my lip liners in these little because like, you know in my makeup kit when I'm doing like jobs on with clients, it's easier to have all my lip liners in these. So this is my nude. Um, well, this has got like nudes and pinks and some reds in. Um, so I'm gonna do a nude lip today because it's like my signature and I love it. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and pick whatever lip liner you want, but preferably go for a lip liner that's a couple of shades darker than the lipstick you're gonna wear because it'll help give more definition to the overdrawing of the lip and it'll help create some nice shadows which are really key to like making it look realistic. So I've gone with the Makeup Forever Endless, uh, it's a brown, and can you see how sharp it is? That's important, make sure it's razor sharp. So I've just got this, don't judge me, it's like one of my desk I use all the time, it's so tight and broken, I don't even know where it's from. But this is just like a double size sharpener. Just always have one handy so you can get your lip liners razor sharp. And now we're gonna start drawing on my lip liner, so I'm just gonna zoom you in. So now that we're nice and close and personal, a key tip that my friend David Horn told me was if you work in quarters on your lip, then when you do make a mistake, you'll know which quarter is uneven and then you can fix that. Whereas if you just whack on one big lip shape, you don't know where the mistake is. So that's what we'll be doing, we'll be working in quarters. So I normally do this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. And then that way I can see exactly which one is out of proportion. So let's start on this one. And I like to start on this outer corner here. And what I like to do is I like to pull the pencil out at like a straight line to create like a point and then start to blend it back into my lip line.
like that. So we've got the little corner and now we're gonna start working from the top and from the top I like to go like in this area here and then pull it down to that line. Now, can you see how my lip is here? And then we're just overdrawn it in that kind of shape. We'll kind of worry about the cupid's bow when we've done this half, because I like to shape that differently, but I like to do that after I've got all my sections on. So now we're gonna do the bottom half. So what I like to do here is, I like to go in, in the corner of the mouth, like in this area here, and then swoop it round and underneath. And then, when I, when I look on my mouse closed, you'll be able to see that my lip folds over. Mm -hmm. You see that? So I like, can you see how it's like overdrawing underneath? So my lip ends here. I overdraw it to there. And that, you think, oh, that's crazy. But then when my mouth is open, because my bottom lip is so heavy, you can see, it just creates like a nice shadow and makes it look like real big and juicy. And then the moment that your pencil gets a little bit blown, so you're looking at my pencil now, and it doesn't seem like it's that blown, but that's blown. So you just wanna go back in, give it a one, two, and just re-get your point in, so we can really go in and define this inner part of the lip here. And you don't have to go like neat first time because the foundation's still wet and we are going to clean up the whole of the lip line with concealer but just get the shape on and then move on to the next section so now we're just going to repeat this process on the other side so now you kind of get your shape on and i can already tell by looking at my mouth front on that this side is a little bit bigger here, so I know I need to correct that, but everything else is looking pretty fine. But now we're gonna work on the Cupid's bow and making the signature shape. So I like mine quite level. I know some people like it nice and sharp, but just create whatever shape you want. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link the two Cupid's bows together and make a nice smooth rounded shape. And then because I've got that slight bit of foundation on my lips and that little bit of moisturizer, I'm just gonna use a little flat brush like this, nothing too crazy, and I'm just gonna melt all the inside together so it just looks nice and blended. Now, this next step is why my lips always look so clean and everyone's always like, how do you get them so crisp? And it's this reason alone. When you powder your foundation and then you go over with a lip liner, most lip liners are not creamy enough to glide over the skin because they're not designed like that. Because your lips have give to them, they're designed to be more firm, to really grip to the lip, but that doesn't work on powdered, like, like a powdered foundation because the pencil starts to skip and then you get like that jagged line. So by actually drawing it into your wet foundation, if you can see, it creates like a really nice smooth line. And then when you clean it up with a little bit of concealer and a flat brush, you get the crispest line. And then when you go back over it, no skipping because you've already got the base there. Now to clean the lips up, I like to use two things. If I'm going for like a super glamorous look and like I want to be quite natural, I use the P. Louise Rumor 01 base to clean up my lips. But if I want to go for something more dramatic or I'm wearing a red lip, then I use the zero base which is the pure white and that just helps the um the lip pop more against the skin but i'm going to be using the more natural skin tone today and then this is my favorite brush do not judge me this brush is still in production i just haven't had time to go and buy a new one and every time it breaks i fix it um but it's just from the paint star paint star paint shop like the range so like a craft store you can get it from like michael's or something like that and it's just like um this super thin flat brush and i just squeeze it'll up like that so it's super flat and then i just put the product on the back of my hand it can kind of sit there and get a little bit warm the p louise base is quite firm so if you just put it on the back of your hand it can get nice and warm and then i just like to melt it around on the back of my hand like this nothing crazy just kind of putting the brush back and forth and keeping it nice and small like you can see it's like razor, razor sharp. And then you're gonna start in your quarters and you're just gonna clean each quarter up so that they match perfectly. Mm. And I lay my brush flat on my face like this so it makes like a thicker line.
Now that you've kind of cleaned it all up, you're just gonna blend that out into your foundation. There we go. And now you can see my mouth has this kind of like glow around it and it makes it look super highlighted and it like, looks like it's been brought forward. That's what you want. When you powder it, it kind of like calms itself down. But now we're gonna set it with powder. So you just wanna go with some translucent powder or whatever powder you use to set your face, just go in with that. I don't actually set this part. I just set the lip liner and around the mouth. Then you can let it bake for a little bit to really like set in the lip liner to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. I just kind of like let it bake with the rest of my face for like five minutes. And then you just want to brush off the excess powder. Now you want to pick a lipstick of your choice. So I'm just going with this super pale nude. And I just want like pretty much just apply it all in the center of my mouth. And then I just start to buff it out with a brush. Then with the brush that we used earlier to blend the lip liner, you're just gonna start blending that into the lip liner and the outside of the lip. So that's like my first layer. Then I go back in and I re-emphasize the middle and add a little bit more in here. So just like a nice little highlight. And to like really build the coverage. And I found like if you're building smaller layers, the lips don't get as crusty and as dry. And then pat that in where it is. Now you can go back in with your original lip liner and just add some more depth in it. So I like to go in here, a little bit here and underneath, but just add more depth in where you really want to make the pout of your lip pop even more. Now, we're nearly finished. If you want to make your lips pop even more, get that brush that you use to clean it up, like you know when we went around the outside, and with a little bit of product that's left, just kind of go back over the edges so it's super bright again, and then that way your mouth will like really pop and it looks super defined. Glosses or a sheen. So my favorite like nude topper or a nude kind of lip to give a sheen is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. And look how much is left of it. It's like my favorite. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then you can just pop this like here. Just to add like, can you see it gives like a slight sheen, like a natural like, but not too much. That's what I like that for. Cause I find that like glosses can be like too much. So I just kind of like dab it in and I don't put it all over the lip because you try to make the lip look bigger. If you just put gloss everywhere or a sheen everywhere, it won't look like that. It'll just look like you've got a sweaty upper lip, a sula. Don't want that. So just kind of dab it in on the balls of the lip here. So like there and there and a little bit over here like that. But if you do like gloss, by all means, go ahead and apply it. I love this one, this one's from Anastasia. It's the Summer Vibes Lip Gloss, but be very careful where you place it, because if you put it everywhere, like I said, you'll look like you've got a Sula, a sweat upper lip, alert. That's what the A stands for in Sula, alert. But if you put it in key areas, you can actually make your lips look even bigger. So what I do is I get out the gloss and I just kind of go, there, like that. And, that, and a little bit. There. Like that, and then when you do the top bit, you want to do, take it quite close to the lip line and that will like expand it, but like that. And then if you want a bit more, you can just kind of have it more on. And here is the finished product. 
<laughs> it looks so ridiculous because I've got no other makeup on, but this is the technique that I use every time I do my lips in makeup, whether it's drag or like a crazy look or uh, me as a boy, I use these same techniques. I just scale it, size it differently, draw the shape that I want, but just find the tools that you need. So a lip liner of your choice, a lipstick and a gloss and you'll be good to go. You will then have, if you follow this tutorial step by step, you'll have the cleanest, crispiest lips, crispiest? The cleanest, crispest lips in the game. Well, not in the game because mine will be the cleanest and crispiest because, <laughs> come on. But you'll be pretty close. But yeah, I guess that leads us to the next part of the video, which is today's video, who we're giving a special shout out to, and that is, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but it's Fabrico, leaf on instagram and they recreated one of my looks from glow with their own twist they did this super cool can you see here like they did the squares on the eyes as well like oh my god it's so cool so that is who is getting a shout out today like look how beautiful this looks oh my god so definitely go check them out but yeah go show them some love and don't forget if you want to have a shout out at the end of my video then just tag me in your recreations of my looks on instagram and i'll be sharing someone at the end of every makeup video here on my channel but i guess that concludes today's video so if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments what you thought of this tutorial and what other tutorials you would like to see going forward and that's it so until then i'll see you on the next one see ya